What's up YouTube, it's Dinosaur here, and today I got a video for you on how to root, unroot, uh, temporary root, and permanent root uh, most Android phones. I'll tell you a quick list, this is not all the phones. A quick list is Droid X, Droid 2, Droid, I believe Samsung Galaxy phones, and there are a lot more that do work. Um, the newer phones, like really new phones, probably don't work. Uh, like I doubt the Nexus S works. You you might want to try it. I don't know. Uh, this was on the market just like Easy Root, but instead this was on the market and it was completely free. And uh, they decided to take it off after somebody told Google that this app actually rooted their phone. It was, it was actually surprising that they didn't take it off immediately. It actually stayed on for longer than two months. So. That was pretty good for all the people that got it in the nick of time. But for those of you out there, there is still a way to get it online and then just get it on your phone. Because as you know, Android lets you download things from the internet and just launch them as apps. So you can load the website on your Android device, go to the uh, download link, download it in your browser downloads, open it up, install it, and then you have the app downloaded but not using the market. So that's a quick way how to get it. You can go to websites like forshare.com. I'll give you a link in the in the description. I'll give you several links so that you, uh, if one does not work, you'll have another one to fall back on. The latest version that I have is 1.3. That has support for Droid X, Droid 2, and a bunch of other phones. Uh, a couple phones I know off the top of my head that do not work are the Droid Incredible and the Droid, uh, the, um, HTC Evo, maybe they changed that, I don't know. Uh, the download that I have certainly does not support those phones. Uh, but let's get into this. So, the right off the bat, they let you, um, they let you temporary root or, or permanent root. Temporary root, I'm assuming, is just for people that just want to try it out, see if they like it, and then if they like it, they'll do a permanent root. Because maybe they don't want to go through all the trouble of the permanent route. Maybe they just are too afraid to do it. But either way, both are fine. They both work well. So let's just do the permanent route. And by the way, this is how the uh, how the app will look when uh, you first launch it. And you will have BusyBox installed. And on the bottom in the white text it says... This will root your device and enable you to supply system level access to applications that request it. BusyBox will also be installed. And then you can click about it and, th and it says Z4 root, uh, Z4 root version 1.3.0 made by Ryan ZA. So uh, give all credit to him. He did a great job. Uh, this works on 2.2, by the way, if I haven't said that. This is for 2.2, and he did a great job. The new Droid X update, yes, it does work for it. Uh, that's depending if you're uh, listening to this video right now, uh, December 20th. Uh, I believe Gingerbread will launch, and I doubt this will have support for Gingerbread. Uh, maybe I could be wrong, but since Gingerbread is apparently a giant step up from 2.2, just like 2.2 was a step up from 2.1, I don't think it will have support. So, um... You probably will not have root after you uh, get 2.3 if you get it on time. Uh, so I'm going to do the permanent root right now. It says it right here. I don't know if you can read that, but I'm clicking permanent root. And it's going to root my phone. And on the bottom it tells you running exploit in order to obtain root access, dot, dot, dot. And you see the loading bar. And then it says acquiring root shell. And the whole screen turns white. And your phone is going to reboot. It says rebooting in the middle of the screen. Okay, my phone just went black. Now it's turning on because of the green light. And I should see a big M in the middle of the screen right about now. So when this boots up, you should have a new app called Super User Permissions. I have another video that shows another way 
how to root on 2.1 and I talked about it the same way that you're gonna get a new app super user permissions and in that app you're gonna have a, basically a log of every single transaction uh, that your phone did with a app that requires root access it's gonna tell you when it was what happened well it's not gonna tell you what happened it's gonna tell you uh, where um, between what app it was and that's pretty much all it's going to give you. So now if I go look in my app drawer, this is going to have to load up. If I look over here, there's an app right here called Super User Permissions. I'm going to drag that into the middle of my screen. Oops. I didn't quite get it. And by the way, right above that, there's an app called Shoot Me. And Shoot Me lets you take pictures of your phone, just like on an iPod Touch or iPhone or iPad, where you click the home button and the power button at the same time, simultaneously, uh, for like a second. You don't hold them, you just tap them. And that's the app right there. And inside, it's going to be completely um, empty when you get it. But since I already use this app, and I have a bunch of apps that require root, like uh, Shoot Me, uh, Wireless Tether, Titanium Backup, um, Shark, Set CPU, Root Explorer, Joid X Slash 2 Overclock, and Joid X Bootstrapper. Um, I will have a video to get some of those apps later in the future. Uh, but right now, this video is going to be on rooting. So, uh, let me, while I have more time, uh, it's only been se about seven minutes, I will also explain what you can do once you have root. So, once you have root, you can use an app like Wireless Tether. And Wireless Tether, by the way, is like 3G Mobile Hotspot that you can get on your Droid X. Uh, this is uh, specific to Droid X and Droid uh, 2 right now because they're some of the only phones that can do 3G Mobile Hotspot and also HTC Evo and the Samsung Fascinates can all do that uh, the Samsung Galaxy S phones can all do that but uh, we're talking about the Droid X right now so the Droid X you can get a 3G Mobile Hotspot from Verizon and it will do five devices and it will basically just give them Wi-Fi. That is fairly good. It won't be super fast like at home. And especially if you're connected to an Ethernet cable at home. But then again, it's what you pay for when you get 3G Mobile Hotspot on a phone that's not as expensive as a normal pretty fast laptop. So, back to the, uh, the routing this app allows you to basically do the 3G mobile hotspot, but it doesn't uh, use Ver what Verizon's using. Because when you use Verizon, it activates their own thing, and then it gives the Wi-Fi to the specific devices that log into it. This, you just turn it on, and then any device can recognize it. You probably want to set a password when you go into settings right here. You can go to setup and uh, do enable Wi-Fi encryption, change the passphrase, do a bunch of stuff. So when you click it, it will start tethering and it will say it, start, it has been granting super user permissions. And when you click it, it will give Wi-Fi to uh, five devices, exactly like a 3G mobile hotspot that you actually pay for. But this is free because this is using your phone's own data plan. So it's not using Verizon stuff, it's using your own phone. So you're basically dividing your phone's uh, data plan up to five devices. It works better when you only have uh, like the minimum amount of devices connected. You can do five if you need to. You're not going to get the best Wi-Fi. It's going to be usable, but you're not going to be extremely satisfied if, as if, uh, compared to if you were only using one or two devices uh, connected to it. So I only I don't recommend a lot of devices connected to this. I would only recommend about two. Plus, it heats up your phone to a considerable degree, and it 
instantly drains the battery life. So I wouldn't even do this if you were, if you need your phone and you're not connected to the power outlet or you're not, your phone is not charging. So I would always recommend charging your phone, uh, while it's doing the wireless tether. And I wouldn't recommend using it for more than like two hours at a time because it does heat up your phone and you don't want your battery to melt. So, um, this has been the video on how to root Droid X, Droid 2, and a bunch of other devices using Z4 root. This is a 2.2 root, and it also supports the, the new uh, software that just came out for the Droid X. Um, today is December 20th, Monday. Uh, this is 2010. So, uh, depending on when you're watching this video, a new software could be out. So don't uh, fall back on this video if you have a different software. Make sure to check that you still have 2.2 or 2.2.1, not 2.3. If you have 2.3, that's not going to help you. Uh, it might actually mess up your phone, depending on what you do. So um, double check the firmware you have. And after that, after you check all the stuff, make sure your phone is going to work. And you look at the list of which phones are compatible for Z4 root 1.3.0 uh, then root temporary root or permanent root and then after that you will see in Z4 root I will go into the application Z4 root and instead of permanent root and re and uh, temporary root you have reroute and unroot I don't think you can see that but it says reroot and unroot, and it says your device is already rooted at the bottom. Uh, you can remove the root using the unroot button, which will delete all the files installed to root your device. You can also reroot your device if your root is malfunctioning. So uh, there you have it. This has been how to root your Droid, uh, any Android device that is supported by Z4 root on 2.2 and a little bit about what you can do once you root so uh, please rate comment and subscribe I'll have more videos out soon including a whole list of apps that you can get um, once you're rooted so um, peace